Hey, hi, hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. You know what day it is? Well, maybe you don't. <laughs> it's Friday at 4 a.m., so that explains a lot. But we're starting a new vlog here. Welcome, a little weekend in my life vlog. We have a fun weekend planned, and I can't wait to take you along. I'm going to coach at F45, my two classes, then I'm going to Pilates class, and then I'm doing a ton of recipe testing today. I'm also getting going back to the Houston Acne Facialists to get my monthly facials because I have not been in probably, I don't know if I've been since my wedding, which is insane because I used to go every month religiously and my face is just like congested. So it's time, it's time I go back. So we're doing all that today and then the, this weekend we just have a lot of fun stuff planned too. So I'm excited to take you along and let's get this vlog going. All right guys, I just finished coaching my two classes. It was really good. Um, and it's gonna be a good day because I just got added off of the wait list for my favorite Pilates instructor. So I'm currently on my way now, I'm like a minute away. I was gonna go to a different location with the instructor that I like don't love. It's fine, like it would have been a fine workout, but I just love this instructor so much. I'm happy that I got off the wait list. It's a good day. It's so crappy here. It's just rainy, wet, cold. It's 50 degrees and rainy. Ugh. So that's probably, I, I knew that someone was gonna cancel just based on like it being cold and rainy. I'm also a fitness instructor. I know how this goes. I had a couple cancellations this morning too. Especially when you wake up at like 5 a.m. Nar, you know? So anyway, I'm excited about that. And it's just gonna be a really good day. I wanted to update you. I'm so hungry and I kind of messed up and I did not plan accordingly. Like I should have brought a snack or something, like a meat stick. Um, but that just did not happen, so. But we're here. Oh, there's people coming out from last class. Hello, it's 11 a.m. now. I'm on my way to my facial. I'm so excited, but today has kicked my ass. So I didn't, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but I, Obviously I coached this morning, so normally I would wake up at like 4.15 for that. But I was up at 1 a.m. wide awake and I could not fall back asleep. So I was up from like one till four when I had to get up and then I was up. I just took like a 30 minute nap and it felt so good. So I, I coached my classes and then I did my Pilates class and I came home and I just napped and now it's 11 a.m. and I'm going to my, my facial because I have it at 11.30. And I'm still like so out of it. Normally my facials take like an hour or so because they do red light therapy and they do like these masks and distractions and or extractions, hello. So I'm kind of excited to just like close my eyes again because normally on Fridays when I coach, like I'm fine during the day or at least till like four or five o'clock at night. Not today, baby girl. Not today. So I listened to my body and I laid down. And I can't remember the last time I took like a nap this early in the morning. It's crazy. I feel like my energy levels for all of last year basically have been way better than normal. You guys know that I had a little like weight loss journey prepping for my wedding. And one of the biggest things I noticed was my energy levels when it came to losing weight because I was able to balance my blood sugars, which I think was just like the biggest thing. I wasn't having these spikes and these crashes and just like needing to sleep. I used to nap all the time, like anytime, anywhere. And even now, like Matt will come home from work sometimes and nap on the couch. And whereas before I could have easily, easily napped with him a lot. Like now I just am awake and I'll lay with him, but I'm like getting stuff done on my phone, like emails, I'm editing, like I'm doing something. And it feels so good to just not be so tired all the time but today was the first time i took like a really much needed nap like i don't i couldn't focus like my eyes were not staying open granted it's because i went to bed at 11 p.m and i woke up at 1 a.m and then coached two classes and worked out crazy i'm on my facial now i'm so excited to get back to it i have to get all my products i have to think of which products i need exactly it's been a minute so they're gonna they're gonna do the works on me I just finished my appointment and I literally slept the whole time. I told my girls, I was like, I'm so sorry. Usually I'm very talkative and I know I haven't seen you in a minute, but I'm exhausted. Here's a skin that did a ton of extractions. 
so it's a little inflamed, but she said everything came out, which is good. Now I'm gonna head home. When I was napping under the red light, <laughs> I had this idea come to me for like a poor man's caviar. And I mean, I don't know about you, but my TikTok for you page is just like all caviar, it's just like New Year's and the holidays. Um, but I'm not spending money on caviar, that's just not. I've had caviar probably twice in my life. And it was good. Like it was briny and oceanic as they say. But I was like, how can I recreate those texture elements, those flavor profiles with items that I already have? And I thought I, it like came to me while I was there and I basically already bought everything yesterday at the store. So I'm thinking like texturally wise, like little balls, like the little shape of the caviar is very similar to cottage cheese. And then the oceanic fishiness can come in through salmon, like smoked salmon. And then the brininess can come through with capers. So it's very similar to like a lox bagel. And like that lox bagel dip that I was gonna make, it's very similar. But I'm gonna kind of like mess around with it and see what the best, most accurate depiction is. I think that's gonna be my little snack. And then, I'm, and then I have to make a salad today. I keep putting off the sweet green salad. I just need to do it and film it. Maybe I should go pick up a sweet green salad to like I need to get the dressing right. So the whole point of me making this series is to not buy a sweet green dress. I mean, I've had it so many times, I feel like I know it. Okay guys, time for my salad of the day. We just have leftover, one of these Asian cashew chopped salads, salad kits from Costco, but we didn't have any of the dressings or toppings, so I kind of just used the rest of the slaw. Added some arugula and then a handful of shredded carrots. I did four of these Amy Lou chicken meatballs. I did a handful of crispy, onions that we had left over from our green bean casserole from Thanksgiving, um, some chopped up nuts, and then for dressing, I mixed Greek yogurt and my green goddess. I thin it out with a little bit of water to like the consistency you like, but this is a nice little way to add some more protein to this dressing and also make it more of like a creamy, thick dressing. And that's my salad of the day. It's not pretty, but it works. Hi you guys, it's the next day. I am wearing my Houston Humane shirt because I'm about to go to a puppy bowl event with our shelter. If you guys don't know, I volunteer with the Humane Society and I'm in their foster program. I walk their dog. I help a lot when I can. And the National College Football Championship game is in Houston on Monday and it's currently Saturday. So we're doing a ton of different like puppy bowl activities with our puppies. So I'm going to help from 10 to three today. Um, it's 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. now, so I have to get going. But I wanted to show my coffee because I'm doing coffee right now. You guys have been watching Vlogmas, you know that I had to get this new Keurig because my dad was coming and there was like a whole thing. My dad was here in town and he loves Keurig or he loves his coffee so like we had to get this. But I got sent these Truvani, Truvani protein pack samples a while ago and I'm just genuinely curious. I It says protein powder made from 11 ingredients. One packet, 120 calories, 20 grams of protein, two grams of fiber, three grams of carbs, two and a half fat. Pretty good macros, for sure. One of my tricks with seeing if the protein is a good ratio in an item, well obviously protein powder is a great protein ratio, but if you're ever wondering if something's like high protein, I like to look at the grams of protein, so this one's 20 grams of protein, and I add a zero onto that. And if the calories are that number or lower, then it's a good source. So since it's 20 grams of protein in here, I'll add a zero, so 200, calories so it should be less than 200 calories this is only 120 calories so obviously like protein powder is a good source of protein but i'm just this is a little tip you can do for other things it's like a quick little tip if you're wondering in the grocery store like is this a, is this a high protein item obviously not every item has to be high protein but if that's what you're looking for um okay this is the vanilla chai and i'm gonna put it in my coffee right now i just brewed up a little donut shop because this is what came with the curry we had like little samples okay and then i used the trader joe's Cinnamon bun, the cinnamon bun creamer. You guys know I shared my Trader Joe's haul. So let's try it out. It smells really good. It smells very Christmassy. It kind of scared me. I'll do half. It is plant based, and sometimes those aren't the best. And in case I don't like it, I don't want to ruin my whole coffee. But I'm just mixing it into my coffee because. I don't have time to eat right now because I'm literally running late, I have to go. But I still wanna have something in my stomach before I drink my coffee. It's obviously not ideal, but adding protein powder into your coffee can help. 
give you a little subs sus substance and then i'm gonna bring a beef a chopstick and a protein bar with me while i'm at the arena because it'll just be easy to keep in my bag don't have to be refrigerated i don't have to have like clean hands for them because i can just like eat them out of the package because i'll be playing with dogs and you know okay taste test Oh, that's good. Oh my God, that's good. I only added, let me add the, a little more. I can't tell if I'm just tasting my, co like my coffee creamer, that's good. Also, I did the new face today. I tried it for the first time. Do I look snatched? I didn't wanna film it because I really had no idea what I was doing. I feel a little more confident with it. I feel like this looks lifted, no? I really want to work on like my smile lines, which I know is, it's inevitable that you're going to have smile lines. Like I smile a lot. I'm a very happy person, but I feel like a lot of my skin, I don't want it to droop as much. So I'm trying to just keep it up. It's a little grainy. If you are looking for a plant-based option, I also have a sample pack coming in from Clean Simple Eat that I'm going to also taste test. This does have good ingredients though, so if you are wondering, if you're looking for one that has like really good ingredients, this does. It's not bad. I'm just like not used to plant-based proteins, but the Clean Simple Eats one, actually I think those are way. When they come in, I'll also do a taste test, but I would give this flavor, this brand like a seven out of 10. Maybe it's better not in this, not in a hot coffee. Just being honest with y'all as always, okay. Drink this. I have to let India one more time and then I gotta go play with some puppies. I'm going early. It doesn't start till 10, but I'm going early because I don't know how parking is gonna be and I feel like it's gonna be a nightmare. I also have to get like a badge and like credential. I had to do like all these credentialing things. I don't know. I'm excited. We're gonna play with some puppies. Maybe I'll vlog on my phone because I'm not bringing my camera. This will. It. Whenever you're working at the main society or like with dogs, I'm wearing my like crappy old leggings, my t-shirt, and wear my old, old gym shoes. Like things are gonna get dirty, you're gonna be covered in slobber, scratched up. So you just kind of, you know, you want like as little as possible. I'm just gonna bring my little um, fanny pack, belt bag, as the cool kids call it. We're here, we have Chance. And this is Toby, he has three legs. We're giving him a little break right now. But this is everything outside. We're just giving Toby a little break because he just got his leg removed because he was mangled by another dog when he was brought in and they just, hi baby. He is so cute though. Ooh. You guys, this is Taco. I'm unwell. Oh, this is Taco. Layla. Just hanging out. These two are really tired so I'm just, out them in the back. Oh, don't do that, baby. Hi. That's why I wish we had like some like, like, like. Uh... All right, guys. I just got back from volunteering, and I, every time after I volunteer, I just feel so rejuvenated and just so like my cup is full, you know. But I'm home, snacking. I don't even know. I think I showed you my little caviar, my. My poor man's caviar. I shared it on TikTok. But I'll show you. Oh. Okay. My favorite smoked salmon from Trader Joe's, the pastrami, gives it the oceanic vibe, okay? Cottage cheese for protein, also the little balls, same textures, not same, similar texture to caviar, and then Capers, also similar texture to caviar, little balls. You can use these. I don't love these, but I bought them, so I'm eating them. I've also used cucumber slices and then also Cape Cod kettle chips to really give that caviar vibe. So the Cape Cod kettle chip, this is kind of like the creme fraiche, the dairy. Salmon gives you the fishiness, and then the capers give you the brininess. It's perfect, and I just have this because I put it on everything and I love it. I'll make you a little bite. So I actually like it the best on the kettle chips. Get some. Get some. Like, why is it so aggressive? Some capers, a little bit of green goddess. You don't need to do this. Literally put it on everything. Some salmon. 
and mm, I wish this, this caviar jar or this caper jar wasn't so tiny. None of my spoons fit in. So I use the back of my spoon because I don't want the juice to fall out, get everywhere. But I love capers. I'm probably just gonna finish this honestly. So this lasted two days. <laughs> You don't even need a cracker. Like, I'll just take a bite of cottage cheese. Mm. Three pieces of this, half cup of this, 30 grams of protein. You can't beat it. And it's just fun. That event was so cool. I did not realize how legit it was. So like I said, the championship, college football championship is in Houston on Monday. So this is like their pre-party for it all weekend. People were flying in from all over. There were like D-list celebrities there that I was meeting. I met like a Peloton instructor, some ESPN people, some Yahoo Sports people, random. I also met one of you guys in the bathroom, which was really fun. But it was like a whole event. People were, the line to get in was miles long and we just got to walk in through like the staff entrance, which was kind of cool. While I was there, three of the puppies got adopted, which is really exciting. We had about 10 and there's a whole nother shift happening this evening. And then all day tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be the craziest day because people who are coming in for the game on Monday probably are coming in tomorrow and like looking for things to do. Matt went golfing this morning with some of his friends. He really wants to grill something. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. We have some Brussels sprouts in the fridge. We'll have that. And then he might pick up like steaks or something to grill. Super good. So I'm just having this as a little snack right now. Matt took too long <laughs> and I'm hungry. I'm like, I can't wait for you to go to the store and get food and then come home. I'm just gonna like, just come home and I'll go. So this is my running the HEB outfit. I'm still obsessed with these Target sweatpants. I wish I did get a size small because they do one really big. All they have was mediums though. This is from Old Navy for my mom. Guys, I feel like I look dumb wearing these headbands. Like, how do you wear them? How do you wear them? Can someone help me? Let's go back on HEB. I'll show you what I got. Nothing crazy, but HEB is a vibe at 8 p.m. or it's like 7.45 p.m. on a Saturday night. No one's there, it's awesome. I got some more of this onion dip because people on TikTok were asking. This is the this is the mix I used in my the viral little recipe for my Greek yogurt. And then for dinner, I got the flank steak that we're gonna make tonight. Ooh, ah, Matt is setting up the fire right now. So he's gonna grill this over the fire. It's gonna be so good. I am gonna roast up these two purple sweet potatoes and this one white sweet potato, just so we have them. And then we also have some Brussels sprouts that we're gonna cook over the fire too. So very simple, basic meal, meat and potatoes, but it is so good. So I have the oven preheating to 425. I'm gonna rinse these off, then poke holes in them with a fork and put them on a baking sheet and just throw them in there. Probably like 40 minutes. So you wanna get these on fast. I don't wanna wait for the oven to preheat fully. I just kinda of throw them in there. Let it preheat them in there. I don't know what Matt's gonna do with the steak. Probably just like salt and pepper, honestly. And then Brussels sprouts, I'll chop up and just probably do olive oil, salt, or salt, pepper, garlic powder. Just the basics, you know? If it's not broke, don't fix. Wait, Brussels sprouts. Matt's gonna cook these in the cast iron over the fire. So I'm just having them. These aren't big at all. If they were a little bigger, I would do quarters, but these tiny. These are tiny. Final meal, you guys. Flank steak, crispy Brussels sprouts. We cooked them over the fire, and then we added some Mike's hot honey. It was so good. And then purple sweet potatoes with a pat of butter and some flaky salt. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna get to eating. I shared, I went on TikTok live while we made this, so if you guys are following me on TikTok, look out for that. We hang out live. But I'm gonna enjoy this now. Hello you guys, it is Sunday. I'm leaving the house the first time and it's 3.20. <laughs> Hello, big reset day. We've just been like cleaning, laundry, nothing fun. But I am going to a new yoga class today because I want to just move my body and I want to sweat and I want to do like a hot yoga class. We used to live right next to this yoga studio and I never went. And the classes are like donation based so I usually just give like 10 bucks. And like, ugh, I don't know why I don't go out more often. But I'm going today. And the type of yoga is Budokan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. B-U-D-O-K-O-N. And it said it's like animalistic martial arts version of yoga. 
or yoga's version of that. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna go and see, it's like an hour long class. Matt is at the hospital um, because he has a big case tomorrow. So he's just like making sure everything's all set and I need to move my body. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, All right, y'all, I just got back from H Mart, so let's do a little haul. Okay, okay. First off, best time of year, Sumo Oranges, baby. Yes, I paid $17. How many in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Honestly, when you buy them separately, they're like $3, I think, so this is a good deal. I love the produce at H Mart, it's the best. Favorite lychees, I'm obsessed with these. A lychee martini is my favorite drink. I could probably go sober for the rest of my life, like truly. The only thing I would miss is when I go to a sushi restaurant, like a nice one, I like getting a, a lychee martini. That's like the only alcohol that I like genuinely like drinking. Um, then I am doing another little dietitian tip. Eat what you want, add what you need for these trendy ramen. I've had these multiple times. Matt and I used to get the bulldog noodles all the time. And these are really good, but I want to show you how I can like add, bulk it up and add more nutrition to it so it's actually filling. Because I could eat one of these packs and I'm still hungry. So when I add all my additions, it adds nutrition, but it also is satiating, fills me up, adds fiber, protein, the whole thing. And it tastes really good. Um, then this sriracha, they had sriracha. They had these massive bottles for $4. I had to get one. We still have some left, but I just needed that one. And then I got some kimchi. Because if you go to H Mart, you don't get their kimchi. What are you doing? This is the only one they had. It's not the normal one that I get, but it's still going to be good. Yum. And then I just got some seaweed packs because I love having these. To snack on like so so that's what i got right here oh it's so good you guys not tried the high protein onion dip yet what are you doing i made it with just this one today but any onion dip works and i just use the rest of the pie i'm just gonna put it back in here because i have to run to an appointment i actually had to retake a cover photo i just posted the tiktok on instagram and the photo that i originally took looked like shit on my feed so i had to quickly just like whip this up so Go give that some love. You can check it out on my Instagram profile. If you guys don't follow me there, please follow me there. I'm posting so much more. But I had a, some of it, but I'm actually not that hungry right now, so I'm going to store it back in here, pop it in the fridge, and run to my appointment. I also did a Pilates class earlier today. Hey, y'all, I realized I did not end off this video. What is literally what? This cool clip. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, also, I guess I can up to you on that yoga class that I did. Uh, it was so good. Like I said, it was very hard. I'm covered in bruises because they said to not use a mat, which is wild on a hard floor when you're like rolling. Anyway, um, I clearly had no idea what I was doing. If you saw the video, I'm like looking around the whole time. So don't be intimidated to try like a new workout class ever. No one's paying attention to you. Even though I've been working out for years, I still tried it and it was great. So it's your sign to try a new fun workout class. Switch it up. Anyway, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.